There's one week left for Jameson's Candy in Newcastle. Yeah, the family-owned business has made handcrafted chocolates for 79 years. Today, I made a visit to the very popular store. John Kutzka hit the jackpot. He found sugar-free chocolate fudge meltaways in the Jameson's Candy Showcase. And I got the last bunch. <laughs> I, I was hoping there would be more, but uh, unfortunately, there's, uh, this was it. So I, I don't know whether to freeze it or to eat it. Kutzka is a Newcastle native who lives in England now. It was Jameson's last chocolate. There is no more in the store. When word got out it was closing, it sparked a rush at Easter. They bought two to three times what they normally would have bought to stick it in their freezer or try to keep it as long as they could. The chocolate molds are still being cleaned from the Easter rush. The recipe in the kitchen stayed the same since Jameson's was started by Dennis's uncle in 1945. That's what made it special. The business has been wonderful. It's given us a great living, but there's a time where you have to decide what's next, and this is our, our decision now. Opportunities to sell the business never worked out. John Kutzka spent $20 to buy his last bit of chocolate, two boxes, and a lifetime of memories in eating the Newcastle-made chocolate. Very disappointed, obviously, because I felt like, ah, oh, that's like an end of an era. era. And uh, I think it's a, a big part of Newcastle. Jameson's was locally owned the entire time. Dennis has been a part of it for about 50 years. His wife and sister also worked tirelessly at the most important times of the year. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter. They are ready to relax and enjoy life a little bit more. I'm ready to retire, you know, to, to move on to something else. Yeah, tough decision for Dennis and his wife, Caselyn, plus his sister, Betty. Good luck to all of them. By the way, John Kutzka was so excited to get that last chocolate, he almost walked out of the store without paying. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.